My name is Sarah Page. I'm a freelance violinist in Indianapolis. I'm here today in the beautiful Eagle Creek Park with Classical Music Indie. I'm excited to bring to you some unaccompanied violin music, and I hope this performance brings you peace and joy.
was Prokofiev's Sonata for Solo Violin in D Major. It was commissioned in 1947 by the Soviet Union for young virtuosic violinists. So, interesting fact, it not only can be played by one violin, but it's actually meant to be played by many student violinists at the same time, which is a really common thing to do if you were a famous teacher and you wanted all to showcase all of your students at the same time, you'd have them all play the same piece. So I, I find this piece interesting because it's not complicated in the melodic structure and the first movement is a typical sonata form. However, there are rarely any transitions going from one melodic idea to the next. So in that sense, it is more complex. What do you do with that? How do you transition from one theme to the next? So I think Prokofiev was throwing the students a little bit of a curveball there. Bach's six sonatas and partitas for violin serve as the foundation for every violinist. This particular movement, the third movement, Largo, from his C major sonata, is really special to me. I grew up listening to a CD of Hilary Hahn playing this particular movement 
and I fell in love with it. I wanted to play it growing up and I listened to it every day. It comes after the second movement, which is one of Bach's largest, longest beast of a fugue. And so Bach, in his genius, set it off as something really simple. It comes down to just two voices and the melody is beautifully simple.
Fantasy for solo violin was commissioned by the International Violin Competition of Indianapolis in 2014 uh, for that particular year uh, for the competition. And it holds a very special place in my heart because I was studying in my undergrad at that time and I actually saw all of the contestants perform this live. And Zvilik, what she wanted to do was not necessarily challenge the participants uh, virtuosity on the instrument, although she does do that, she wanted to challenge their creativity, which I find really interesting because um, competitions are often known as being uh, technically challenging and you must be perfect at everything, but sometimes it's not the most creative way to express yourself. So that was my final piece for you. I hope that this performance has brought you comfort and I really enjoyed being out here playing for you.